Welcome to Independent Solutions. Today we're going to go through the HP RP9 hard drive replacement and how to pull the cover off the back of the HP RP9 chassis to get into the hard drive. So first thing first, you can leave it on the mount or you can take it off. Taking it off is a little bit easier to do though. So as you can see on the screen, we've got these stickers on the chassis that do indicate how to take the back plate off and the internal cage out. So to take the back plate off, you push against these two little tabs. You can see that here. I found one at a time is best. So you, starting on the right, push it out lift up the back plate and it'll come off one at a time until they both do. That came off very, very easily on this unit as it's been plenty of times with this unit as it's a demonstration model. Now from here, stickers again do indicate how to take off this metal cage, but quite simply, you put your fingers on the tabs on the top left and top right, as you can see on the screen now, and push up. It does take a bit of force, so you'll see me use my thumbs to get a bit of just leverage on that. And that's, it. that's when it comes out. Once that's done, you'll notice that I've got no hard drive in this unit. As I said, demonstration unit doesn't have the hard drive in it. You would have your hard drive handy once it's been sent by Independent Solutions. You wanna plug it into this plug here and put it onto the caddy. Now this caddy is hard fitted to the chassis, but it does have a little tab here on the left. Once the hard drive's in, it will click into place and won't move. At this point, we'll start putting the chassis back together. So to do that, we'll grab the metal cage that we took out just before we need to line up the divots at the bottom of this cage, as you can see on screen here, with the bottom of the chassis. Once you've done that, just make sure it does click into place. If it doesn't, you may need to realign those divots with the chassis itself, and just keep trying. Once you've got it flush and perfectly aligned, you'll hear it click as you push down on it, as you can see just then. And at that point, the back cage is in, so you're ready to put the back plate back on as well. Back plate will just put into place, it'll just drop down. Once it's dropped down, you need to pull it towards you or push it away from you, depending on how you're looking at the RP9 unit. And once it's clicked into place with those two little tabs that you can see on the bottom there that we used at the start, it's all good to go. Thank you for watching. If you need further assistance, please call us on 1800 020 946. Did you know that Independent Solutions hosts live webinar sessions called Ask the Expert? If you've missed any, click on the link on screen to go to the playlist where we've uploaded them.